when he dove it on that into to be encouraged wide. But what was your, I guess, what were your thoughts at the end when the result slipped away? Uh, yeah, you're right. There was more good than uh, than growth areas. Um, I was really happy with the way they played in the sense of their their effort, their tackling pressure, their willing to willingness to compete. Um, I thought we played more our way. We, we we turned the ball over in our front half and we pressed the ground. We've been sitting back and been getting scored against from um, full length um, transition, which um, we haven't enjoyed. So I thought uh, I thought we actually played one of our, our better games of footy today. We just uh, we lost to a better side. Where did it, I guess, turn in that third quarter? They started to win the contest in the third. Um, that was probably the. The biggest thing, the first half of the third, I thought we played really well. We just couldn't hit the scoreboard. I thought our bull use going inside 50. Um, I thought in the first half, particularly, our ability for our tools just to get the ball to ground um, was outstanding. And then we saw the smalls at the feet and the pressure. In the third quarter, I thought our kicks and, and our ability to get the ball to ground probably dropped away. And then they started winning the contest. And then we saw what they did through the uh, that period at the centre bounce. They looked pretty uh, pretty awesome out of the centre bounce in the, at the end of the third as well. We've spoken about run-ons before, and, and the end of that third was such a big, big run-on where they scored the four quick goals. What was going through your mind at that point, and what would you like to have seen your team do to, to try to stop that? Yeah, it was probably slightly before the run-on started. I, I thought... Um, West Coast started being a bit strong in the contest. When we won the ball, we, we probably got caught handballing under their pressure instead of getting getting field position and getting the ball forward. Um, a couple of their goals, they, they just won contests and we'll wear that. Um, but then, uh, yeah, when they got their momentum and they got out the back of us a couple of times, so that was probably a bit disappointing. Um, you're going to lose centre clearances. Would have loved those to be out the back rather than coming out the front and, and similar ahead of the ball. Um, yeah, there were some good contests, but they just got goal side of us and hurt us when you when you do that. And against a good team, that's what they do. They make the most of their opportunities. And on the flip side, when we had our run at the start of the third, we just couldn't hit get scoreboard pressure. We had a couple of good looks, and um, yeah, we just didn't hit the scoreboard. You said against Hawthorne that a few too many went missing. You would have been happy with the spread and the and the load the spread of load today. Absolutely. Oh, I, I looked around the room, and there wasn't too many that I didn't think at least brought effort. I thought our effort, um, and that, that probably winning the contest and, and, and your tackling is probably a measure and our pressure, and I think we won most of those those three areas. I think we won all those three. So the guys tried hard, and I think our fans back home and will be pretty proud of the way they fought it out, um, but it just shows we've got growth. We, we've got to be able to defend when the, when teams get a bit of a run on start winning the contest. We, we just need to be a bit stronger defensively, and, and also we, we need to maximise when we're winning the contest um, when our ability to get the ball onto the outside and hurt the opposition with scores, um, yeah, it needs to improve as well. Probably the two learnings out of this game. Yeah. The coding look to have had more of an impact than what the stats show. Do, what do you do with him going forward? Do you, with players coming back, we, you know, with um, Harry coming back and McGovern maybe coming back, you, do you keep going with him? And, or does he sit on the sidelines when they come back? Ah, uh, oh, we'll weigh it up when they're when they're back. But um, I agree with you. I thought he competed quite well. And his follow up, he rucked. He follow up. Oh, look, we we believe in Tom greatly. Um, Ruckman don't often hit their straps 24, and we can see what um, Pito's doing this year. He's he's 24 now, and he's he's been playing some good football for us. Um, so we're we're really excited. Um, what we've loved is the the way he's going about it, the way he's training, the way he's preparing for games. And if he keeps doing that, he's going to be a very good football player for this club. He actually looked um, probably your best option in the run. When that went off in that second quarter, he was actually getting the better of that in some contest. Did you consider trying to keep him in the ruck for longer periods? Or? Uh, yeah, we did the second half. We wanted it sort of 50-50 and um, particularly centre bounce. Tom's got a great leap on him, so we probably were looking at that. And then around the ground, um, Peter Nett probably he's probably a little bit stronger, but um, I, I thought it was more his follow-up. He competed in the air, but then he followed up and he, he gave us a presence on ground level as well. So um, I thought both those, I thought Peter Nett's first half was very good as well, um, particularly around the ground. So um, yeah, look, we're, we're very lucky to have two two good ruckmen to uh, to choose from at the moment. Injury-wise, have you, have you got anything ongoing with Peter Nett that you have to worry about? He, he obviously came back, but. So troubled by something in that second quarter with the hand? Yeah, he had a finger. I'm not sure what the, the long term is. He he uh, he came back onto the field, so I don't know whether that means he'll be right next week or not. Some, normally they can play the following week, but uh, it's not always the case if he needs an operation or something. But I haven't heard anything yet, so I'm not sure. And Jack? 
Jack Martin. Calf, yeah. So again, it was a calf. They said he couldn't come back on. I haven't got any further details yet, but it'd be likely if he couldn't come back on um, that he'd probably miss a couple. How do you assess uh, Zach Fisher's return? Yeah, oh, look, it was uh, it was great. Um, look, Zach's played some good midfield football for us, and we put it to him that we wanted him to become a small forward. Um, and and to be honest, he he probably didn't want to originally. And then in the ISO period, he rang me one day and he just said, he goes, I'm going to be the best small forward I can until he, he gets another chance in the midfield. And I think we saw that today. I thought he's tackling pressure. Um, he hit the scoreboard and that's the one you need to be careful. He's not going to do that every week. Small forwards don't. But when they can, when you get the opportunity, you need to make the most of him. He made the most today. But if he keeps bringing that effort every week and brings that pressure every week, he's going to be a very good small forward for us. And, and who knows, down the track, he might go back through the midfield. Where is he? So where, where do you rate West Coast in the scheme of things? You would have played a lot of teams by now, so. Yeah, uh, I probably said to the, the I said to our players, I, I felt they've probably been the best that we've played against, and um, they they got strength across the whole field in every line. Um, I thought their midfield, particularly when they got going, probably got on top of us um, in that at the end of that third period. But um, no, I think they're probably as good as any team that we've played, if not the best. Mm. But the Trisky said, pinged a couple of times, seemed seemingly pretty harsh. Is the game now at a stage with those holding the ball decisions that players actually have to consider not going for the ball and leaving it there and getting someone else to go for it? Uh, look, I will never ask our players not to go for the ball. Um, yeah, it was an interesting one. Um, look, Samo, uh, He's a beautiful ball winner. We want him to go and hunt the ball. Um, he got a free kick against. So that's going to happen sometimes. But um, my message would be to my to our players is, is any chance you can put your head over the ball and win the ball, you win it. If you get stung for holding the ball, we'll wear that. You can't comment on that one decision without getting fined, I'm sure. But the rule in general, is it confusing? The, the players ask you about coaching around that, the holding the ball? Uh, look, yeah, our players are seeking a fair bit of clarity around it at the moment. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a hard one. I, I think any time you change an interpretation throughout the season, it's 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 quite hard as much for the umpires to adjudicate and whether the umpires felt that was right or wrong, that call, I, or I don't know, because they're going to make mistakes as well. So it's hard for us as, as coaches and players to understand which one was an error and which one wasn't. So you to get a pattern going forward. But I think it'll work out. We'll, we'll adjust. Right now, you, you've got to try and move the ball on pretty quick and when you can. But at the end of the day, if, if you've got no other option, you've got no other option. If, if it's a holding the ball, it gives us a chance to, to get our defence set up behind it. And, um, so, yeah, that's going to keep happening. David, how do you, I guess, handle the next couple of weeks, two six-day breaks, which is probably better than, than some teams are dealing with at the moment. Are you looking to rotate players or are you trying to keep your lineup consistent? Yeah, we'll, we'll rotate when we need to. We're, we're going to put our best team out and if our players feel good, we'll play them. So we're not going to sit here and, shed, and schedule which weeks who's going to miss what or anything like that. If our players say they're right and, and we believe that they're right, we can sort of get a gauge. You watch them train, you can see if they're right. But um, yeah, we're, uh, we'll just we'll just manage it week by week. And uh, yeah, we're, we're right... Really lucky at the moment. We've got a fight of you. Mitch should be back next week. I'm um, not sure how far David Cunningham, he might be back. Um, today, I thought Paddy Dow played really well in our game beforehand. Caleb Marchbank played his first game this week. Um, Sam Philp, Josh Honey, Cam Pulse. We've got a list of guys at the moment that aren't playing our team. We comfortably will play in our, in our AFL side. Thanks. Thanks.